watching DIY Man, and on today's episode, we're building a chicken coop. This chicken coop can handle a lot of chickens, and it's a great build, especially for today's quarantine. Before we get started, I want to show you uh, some preparations. Anyways, I want to show you some preparation work before we get started. All right, I'm moving the metal so we can use it for the chicken coop. Get him! Get him! Get him! Kill it! <laughs> Kill it! There you go. Good work. He's dead. That's a monster right there. Today I'm going to start by framing the sides of my chicken coop. I bought both treated and untreated lumber for this build. It's ideal to use that treated lumber anywhere where you think it might be exposed to the weather. I started by framing the sides of my chicken coop. These sides are going to be 16 feet long and 5 foot tall. I have three 4x4s on each side that are 5 foot long. Those will be the uprights for the chicken coop. I've also got a 2x4 on the bottom and a 2x4 on the top. The three 2x4s in the center I'm going to use to mount chicken wire to. That horizontal 2x4 there is 18 inches up from the bottom. That's going to be the actual floor of the chicken house. Time to break out the nail gun. Oh man, don't have enough cord. Oh man, I guess I'll have to use my good friend. Now that we built both sides, we're going to attach these two together with 2x4s. Our chicken coop's going to be 99 inches wide. It's that width because of those 2x4s on the outside of each side. Maybe now it'll reach. Nope, let's keep hammering away. Now I'm just adding a little bit of bracing for this floor. I used 2x4s as a floor joist on this chicken coop. It's not exactly up to code, but hey, it's a chicken coop. If you don't feel comfortable with that, you can probably bump it up to 2x6s or 2x8s. But I really don't see a need in going any bigger. We're really only ever going to go in there to clean it out. And hey, that's what kids are for, right? You'll want to space these at least every 2 feet. Mine are a little bit more sporadic because I use leftover floor sheathing from our house. I wanted the edge of each board to sit underneath a 2x4. Here I'm attaching little nailers on the inside edge of these gaps. Remember my chicken coop's 99 inches wide. That way the edge of the board sits on top of something. Don't forget to cut out any notches you might have for your corner posts and your uprights. I'm also going to cut out a couple notches for some 2x4s that are going to make up the door frame. I didn't attach these quite yet, I just set them in there so I know they'll fit. Next we're going to start building the trusses for our chicken coop. I need to cut 8 normal 2x4s to 58 and 3 quarters of an inch. I also need to cut 4 treated ones to the same length. For all 12 of these boards, let's make a mark 2 and a quarter inches from the top. Now draw a line from that mark to the other top corner. We're going to trim this corner off on this line on all 12 of these boards. Now we're going to make a mark on the other side of the board. This one's going to be 5 inches up from the bottom. Once again, we're going to draw a line from that mark up to that other corner. For now, we're only going to cut this line on 4 treated boards and 2 untreated boards. We're going to do something just a little bit different to the rest of them. On the last 6 untreated boards, we're going to make the same mark 5 inches down from the bottom like we did on the other ones. Then we'll take a small 2x4 block 
and lay it perpendicular to that line starting in the top corner. And then we'll make a mark on the left edge of that. The jigsaw is the easiest way to cut this piece out. You'll see these go together in just a second, but this is kind of a big picture of what you're looking for. Now we need to cut four untreated and two treated 2x4s to 14 inches long. Now to build these trusses, put a scrap piece of 2x4 in between the two and a quarter inch side that you cut earlier. Set the bottom of your trusses so that they measure 99 inches. Now nail that 14 inch 2x4 just flush with the bottom of that scrap piece. A 2x6 is going to rest in these gaps later. I'm going to start by using these trusses with the flat angle cut first. I'm just putting these on the two ends and the end of the chicken house. I had to cut them that shape because they rest on those 4x4s. Now for those weird looking ones. Actually this is kind of a common way of doing stick framing. I evenly spaced two of these in the chicken house. Then I put that other one right in the center of the chicken run. Now I'll throw that 2x6 up there to tie all these together. Looks like it might rain. Let's work on the roof so we can work inside. I think I'm getting wet either way. Anyways, let's put these purlings on. I attached a 16 foot 2x4 to the top and the bottom as purlings. For some reason, I can't do simple math so I had to use two 8-foot boards for the center purlings. They work just fine, it just would have made way more sense to have two more 16-foot boards. And now I'm just attaching the metal to the roof. These are 5-foot pieces. Looks like I'm going to bed with the chickens tonight. This ridge cap was not very much fun to put on in 30 mile an hour winds. I had to film that last shot about five times. Now I'm going to frame the door for this chicken coop. This is going to be a two foot opening. Now I'm just making some marks so I can cut these to the appropriate length. Time to nail these things in. As you can tell, the wind keeps blowing this building out of square. Once the tin's attached, it'll quit doing that. Just kidding, you don't actually want to do that. The Sawzall is like the eraser for carpentry. The guy that invented the eraser is way smarter than the guy that invented the pencil. That door frame needed to be flush with these trusses, just like this picture. That's why I had to cut that out. Building stuff like this is so forgiving though. If you make a mistake like that, it's so easy to cut something out and redo it. Now that I've got that little problem fixed, I'm gonna build the laying boxes. First, I'll frame a little 12 inch opening into the chicken coop. This is pretty straightforward. The chickens just need a 10 to 14 inch opening so they can get in and out of the coop. For the laying boxes, they need to be 10 to 14 inch little cubes. I found these little pieces of floor joist in our scrap wood pile from our house build. These are going to make the perfect laying boxes. That's a really cool thing about a build like this. You just take the scrap materials you have laying around and you see what you can make out of it. In fact, almost everything in this build is scrap material, with the exception of the dimensional lumber and some hardware.
Here's a quick look at the back of the boxes before I started putting on the metal. I'm sorry, I'm not going to make a video of me cutting out each individual piece. I'd rather you not see me cry on video. Here I'm framing up a little walk-in door so you can get in and out of the chicken run. Nothing complicated going on here. Here's the last little bit of tin. Now I don't know what this is called, but this is a nifty piece of trim. You can actually shove the chicken wire right inside this groove right here, and then you kind of fasten them with these screws. It works really, really well for attaching chicken wire. Now it's about time to add the chicken wire. Before we do that, I'm gonna stake this thing down. I made some homemade steaks and not the delicious kind. You wanna make sure this thing is square before you stake it down. Mine needs a little bit of work. This thing is square before you stake it down. I made a few of those homemade steaks. Mmm, yummy. Now time to add the chicken wire. This is one of the most frustrating parts. I found that the easiest way to install this is with a staple gun. It seems to hold up pretty well by doing it that way. building my chicken coop doors out of one inch square tubing. This is some leftover square tubing from my house, but this stuff is pretty cheap too. Don't you be squinting your eyes trying to judge my welds. This is a chicken coop. On the back of the chicken house doors, I attached some 26 gauge tin. Here's a look at the main coop door. I'll go ahead and throw that on now. Here I'm installing the main chicken house door. I was originally going to use chicken wire on the top half, but after it rained inside my chicken coop I realized that wasn't a good idea. I ended up putting some more metal on the back of it too. I'll figure out a way to add the ventilation at another time. It's time to make this thing look good by adding some trim. Here I'm putting on a little door for the chicken's entrance. Let's build some doors to check the laying boxes. These are also made out of one inch square tubing. I threw on some homemade handles. Why not? This is also just 26 gauge colored metal. I'll just attach this to the back. Let's install these puppies. How about this for a homemade latch? I'll come back and paint my square tubing at another time. I can just see myself laying a giant egg in here, can't you? Subscribe so you can keep track of my latest.